Hello everyone, welcome back to Quake. Look what's happening. We are yet again in another flipping facility type place. Doesn't make any sense because how many how many chapters of Quake can involve just going through some random sequence of uh sort of breath 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 um sort of corridors in facilities and ending up all over the heckin' place. Right? Like, every time we go through one of these facilities, we end up properly at the mercy of various thingies trying to find these, um... Trying to find these... <laughs> you dick. Uh, hell demon rune thingies, and every time we get teleported back to the same place, in this weird thing that our character never even mentions. You know, we never even consider the fact that we're in a whatever the heck we're in. Leave me alone. Quad, quad, quad. Right, kill. <laughs> kill and or be killed. Get out of it. Everything, die. Give me nail guns, give me super shotguns. Don't care. I'm in it to win it. Oh, you got me a nail gun. Thank you. More. <laughs> Kill everything while this is still on. There we go. I don't know if the things that were shooting me a while ago were baddies or what, but leave me alone. Uh, no, I'm happy to uh, ignore them for now. So how how is this game put together this way? It doesn't make any sense. I do enjoy that they just give you a quad damage at the start of this and say, here you go. <laughs> go nuts. You know, we've, you've done these enemies before. You know how this works. It's a slightly different level, but there's no reason for you to be um, handicapped <laughs> in this way. So you, you just rinse your way through this level. We'll get to the good stuff soon. Uh, but for now... For law reasons, I'm sorry, we have to put you through all of this. And uh, please, it's nothing personal, I assure you. The floodgate is closed. Uh, I assure you it's nothing personal, it's just the way it has to be. Uh, and we'll get to the the actual nitty gritty, meaty bits of killing Hellspawn. Some point in the future, but for now, just sit back, relax, enjoy the ride, and here's a quad damage on us. You know, it's like a... It's like they're apologizing for delay of flight or something. Again, I'm pressing space to try and swim upwards <laughs> instead of slow. Hey, what? Can't see. Are we gonna, are we gonna, there we go. Yeah, those are shooty things out the, uh, out the wall there. So I don't need to worry about shooting extra baddies, which is nice. I'm gonna uh, just jump into this. Water here. Oh, I should have done that differently. Because now I can't get up here easily. I was just trying to avoid a couple of HP of damage just by jumping over here, but I don't know if it's strictly necessary. Honest with you. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> We've basically emptied this level out of all things that could ever have hurt us. How do we get up there, you suppose? Probably through these floodgates and stuff. Or, mind you, actually, I'm going to go around again. Apologise for the delay. Uh, just while we have another look at this area, because I belted it through there really, really quickly, because we had a quad damage, and that means shoot things a lot. So I did. Ah, you got me. I thought I was just going to leg it through and hope for the best. Oh, apologise for the blinking lights, though, by the way. Uh, didn't notice them last time, because I was concentrating on quad damage. Uh, I, I hope that if you are in some way sensitive to such things, first of all, you don't hold it against me for not mentioning it every single time, but also that you are kind of a bit more vigilant than I am about such things because, well, I'm not, you see. So uh, vigilant or sensitive, although it can give me a bit of a headache sometimes when it's that obnoxious. So yeah, apologies and for the future. Oh, I'm gonna sort of hope that you're better than I am because you've lived with it. And I haven't. 
Where did you come from? No one said you could. You have opened the floodgates. I would like to open the this place. You can jump higher when you're off the slope than you can when you're on it. Have you noticed that? See that? Hmm. Okay, let's open. Let's use the floodgate then. This is the other floodgate, yeah. I didn't like that noise. That meant something teleported in that I don't want to deal with. Oh, it might just be a normal human shape, but yeah, it's just human. Stop using this teleporter. Can I break it? You know? If you had a, a destination. What was that splash? And, and like, a teleport destination that you're supposed to port into, and then I've broken it? Does that just, like, scupper your plans or just really ruin your day? Like, why are you teleporting in? I guess that's the question I'm asking here, because... Um... Like, who are you? Are you zombified marines? Because I'm not struggling to understand the idea of zombified marines. Sort of teleporting in in a, in a controlled and sort of military fashion, like and just having any idea what they're doing. Hello. Did I? <laughs> That's where you all came from, huh? Uh, we have found two or four secrets. I mean, I'm kind of okay with that. As long as I don't miss the secret level, I'm kind of okay with come what may. But... I don't want to say I'm likely to, because I haven't yet. <laughs> but at the same time, I have no idea whether I'm likely to, because... I don't know this place. Which is full of military personnel, I can't help but notice. And yet, I am constantly uh, sort of... Yeah, that's that. I get it. Um, like coming back here and just fighting my way through and winning. <laughs> so if these are uh, zombified military personnel, that would make somewhat more sense for sure. Especially since they are apparently perfectly capable of breathing underwater uh, and not even remotely worried about jumping into said water. Three of four secrets, nice. One over here. Last, uh, last bit. I mean, that was three of four secrets. We didn't find the second quad damage, which is obviously the fourth secret. I'm not bothered. Let's go in. There's a decent... Decent uh, level. We did well. Oh, this is a trippy sky thing. This is um, one of the uh, limitations of the old engines, of course, is that this is basically how the sky was forever. Didn't have any choice of the matter. I went wrong. I forgot about the mini knights, actually. I did open the cages, you're right. <laughs> uh, it's so patronised. I'm sad that we didn't manage to get up there. That's okay. Let's grab this, then. Might as well make use of the uh, HP that's going to go away anyway. So that's fine. Yeah, as if you could hide that from me. I saw it. This is the let me out button. Don't get stuck. Right? I pressed another button, which let me into here. Interesting. Okay. Maybe you're not supposed to be able to get onto that. That would make sense. Ring of Shadows magic is fading. It's nice of them to make these areas with such um, an abundance of available magic for me to just make use of, as I will. This is going to be fun because I don't want to fight that thing with just a nail gun with not very many nails in it. <laughs> Maybe a case of just ignoring it. We are dead. I wonder how many nodes you take. I am going to have to kill it. 
eventually, but I think that throwing all my ammunition into it at this point is foolhardy at best. Might even get in there without that bar going away, that's the question. Oh. First of all, yes. Second of all, that was easy. This is scary. Help. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. Where is it? I see you. I see you, Shambler. Yikes. Better get over there. Okay, cool. Do that. Chicken head ass. Yikes. Let me hide over here. Don't get shot. Got shot. This is going to be a difficult level. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. Okay, give me this. Give me this. You're not dying. You die. You die. Die, die, die. Eh. I was going to say Al, but who even cares how much you hurt me right now? Get over it. <laughs> Ninja. It's fine. Then we press this button, which opens up the... There we go. I think it took this Ring of Shadows by accident. This, which gets us into here, which hurts a little bit, but that's okay, because now we can pick up this. Grab this. Start just beating the heck out of everything that is around the corner here. I would really like an explodey type... Uh, weapon, if you don't mind. Uh, it's Ring of Shadows. I don't really understand the point of it. You can sneak up on enemies, sure, but like, why? <laughs> Who cares? Now that we know that there's a Shambler down there waiting to eviscerate us, um, maybe we save before we jump down there? Good trap, though. That hurt. Is that a good AI on that, or was it just uh, me leaving it a little bit too late before I sidestepped? I don't know. And then this one. Boom. Boom. Take the room. Yeah, remember Will Smith actually having a recording career? Before he became the Aladdin's genie? In a film that I've only the only thing I know about it is that Will Smith is uh the genie in Aladdin. Run. Right. We need to get down here. Over to there. How the heck do we get over to there? No idea. Ow. Like this. <laughs> it is about that to work. I just legged it. Heck you. How long does this last? Just owned a shambler by punching it in the face with shotgun shells. That's amazing. Just run around killing things. Don't worry about picking things up right now. There's one. It does make it harder to see, <laughs> but not that much harder to see that I'm worried that it was a problem. That was great. I'm really glad that I just did that the way I did it. I didn't even think about it. Ah, quite happy to uh, pat myself on the back for that one. Good job, me. Well done. Where is this dude? Right where well, I can see you. Ah! Okay. <laughs> didn't mean to do that, but okay. Uh, there were some nins. I want them. Cost of a little bit of HP. I think I can manage that. Didn't realize that was going to close again, or I would have made efforts to not take so long about it. Give me these nims. There we go. I've at least got a little bit to be going on with when I uh, break my leg again <laughs> jumping down here. That probably is how much this hurts, actually. I understand now why there's the. Uh, um, bar though, to so stop you jumping to avoid the trap of 
that's just not fun. <laughs> I'm trying to back off from these things, and you're just sending me into the, the teleporter that forces me to hurt myself every time I go into the thingy. More? 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 Okay. Some shells, a shotgun, five shells and a shotgun. Who puts five shells in a double barreled shotgun? Save it. We've done a lot. <laughs> it doesn't seem like we got very far. We did a lot to get here. Yeah, that hurt your head. Get over it. Right, now we get our nins out again. I see you. Excuse me? <laughs> Those corners are infeasible for modern day gaming. I'm just saying in, in this day and age. That would uh, have a very, very fixed curvature that it was allowed to follow. And therefore, you could probably just drive it into the wall if you were that way inclined to do so. We'll uh, get this obvious quantity of goodies here. Oh, smart, actually. It looked like a really obvious thing to do. And then you just chuck me down the hole by making solid use of lighting. <laughs> I love this. I've been through two levels now, just basically quadded up to the nines. Quad damage up to my eyeballs. This is interesting. It's like a tiny version of the... Uh, oh, okay. That makes sense. Of the... Um, <laughs> yeah, that. Didn't expect that to work. What? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just running around with, like, hopped up on quad damage. Which I can only imagine is like a metaphor. <laughs> right? I'm supposed to do that. I'm so confused. Everything I've done so far, I thought I was just cheating the system. But it turns out I've been supposed to do all the things I've been doing. <laughs> Game, you are ruining my sanity right now. Which is good. I, um, I really enjoy this level. I'll be honest. Obviously, I... Of all the criticisms that, criticisms that I've made for this game, just because I'm used to more modern uh, level design, etc. This has been a really, really entertaining level. Well done to it, actually. A super entertaining level, just because of the way all these unexpected things keep happening. You know? I went went through here. We can pick this up now. They've gone away! Amazing. Let me jump. And then we go through here. Alright, so now we're here. So we ended up up there anyway. I mean, that's really obvious when you're, uh, like, in the, for the modern world, right? But I guess it wouldn't have been so obvious back then. Ow. Uh, it's alright. It didn't really cost us too much in the way of hips. But. Ow. It did cost us in the way of pride. Uh, I can get you to hit you. That would be splendid. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this reminds me, I'm pretty sure I played this level in multiplayer. This happens a lot as well, actually. Um, it's not just that I, I've skipped the level in the past uh, whilst exploring the, the game in god mode or, or with just the level skip cheats, but uh, we would have played it at school. <laughs> Obviously, in um, Deathmatch, which is a thing and still is today. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I wonder how you're supposed to do that. I assume there's a way. Does it get you? Uh, teleporter. Hi. What's these little cross-shaped symbols? I'm wondering if each um, area has like a overbearing, th overbearing, overarching, that sort of thing. Uh, theme. Or what it is, because we've gone to some weird sort of catacombs, the Tower of Despair, with buttons that I'm very reluctant to press. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, right. So, can I press this? Probably. Ah, uh, I would like to be your underwear. Where do I want to be? 
and then crap, and then walk, and then we're gonna save it because we've got so far. Probably not whilst there's a uh, bullet firing at me, and then we can. Oh, that was quick. I didn't like that. That's just like, is this a jumping puzzle? Do you want me to do a jumping puzzle like this? Balls. <sighs> Load it. <laughs> Don't mind that it hurt. Obviously, I've saved three HP. Big whoop. I'm more bothered about the fact that it hurts my prime. I'm quite happy to take the damage from that just by running through it every so often. But I'm just not bothered to walk all the way around it over and over again. I, I will get this done. Look, I, I took a hit, okay? There we go. I don't think it would be that hard if we just kept trying. Uh, secret level? I don't want to be there. <laughs> okay. See ya. Four or five secrets. Um, E4, M3. No, this is just the end. What? What did I miss out on? You have to do that. Excuse me? <laughs> Didn't like that. We do something different. Why did it not hurt me at all that time and completely one shot me the other time? Doesn't make sense. Where are you? Stop! <laughs> Come! Come yourself, you okay. I'm not shooting that. <laughs> Pardon? You want me to just sort of pick up that quad damage? Okay. <laughs> You've convinced me. I wonder if this was different back in the... I don't remember when it was that players really started using the mouse and keyboard. I think that deathmatch players would have had a much more of an impetus to start doing so than... Um, than the casual... Sort of not deathmatch players, basically, you know, the um, people like me who was mostly just playing the game out of uh, something to do. None of those. Uh, I probably wouldn't have learned about oh, okay. the mouse and the keyboard magic until quite a long time later. Notice how lights never turn on and off in this game. There is the blinking light effect. I'm saying that because I'm pretty sure actually lights did just turn on and off. The, uh, I think they have the same sort of way of working as Doom would have in that you have a... Oh no, because Doom you could uh, have different light levels quite easily actually. It reminds me of Hexen actually quite a lot. Stem. Didn't have... They didn't have coloured lighting, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, they, they had reasonably spicy effects available to them. You can see that feet. Don't need to pretend I can't. You need to tell me what I can and can't see. I was seeing these enemies in this game before you were even a twinkle in the Milkman's eye. Remember Milkman? As much as we have gained uh, massive insight into the design process that goes into making a, a strong video game, I have to be honest, probably uh, come at the cost of things like the Milkman, uh, quite to our detriment, to be honest with you. Thank you, and hopefully, ah! And I hope we, before too long, find something explosive. What is this going on here, though? I remember making Quake 2 maps that um, the... Excuse me? The, uh, the, the, the engine was... It used integers. There were no floating point uh, calculations. I mean, presumably there were floating point calculations when rendering it. But all the vertices in the map were integer values, which meant that you couldn't have um, particularly 
fine corners and stuff like that, you know? I think I'm going to do this. Are you done? Making weird baddies? Is this a jib these things? That does. But this is a, a better opportunity right now because one shot from the shotgun is jibs all around, you know? Which is cheaper ammunition in the first place and also quite a lot of I, did you try and shallow frag me and then fail what were you I don't know but it didn't work so heck you alright we've, we've done this bit that's fine looking for a secret I remember this level by the way uh, so I don't want to suggest to you that maybe I was completely unaware of this entire area because I didn't understand I didn't know that I already knew bits but yeah um, when I came to make unreal levels all the vertices had floating point coordinates, which the upshot of that was that why are there so many quads? <laughs> it's not necessary. Enough of the quads. Because um, I want to be over there. Guys, hello? Hey, stop this! <laughs> You're just constantly teleporting in. That is a bit rude. Alright, I'm going. <laughs> it's entirely possible that is exactly what is happening. What was that? <laughs> Did you see that? Oh. Well, that was uh, turning into a bit of a difficult level. I'm going to leave it there because that is a, a 27 minute episode that we've already made for ourselves. We know what's coming to us or for us or something, but I don't know what it was and it was scary and gross. So let's not waste all of our HP next time. Thank you for watching. Hope that you've enjoyed the episode and hope you will join me for the next one. But until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you.